Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometric part 1 to part 23. In this question, we have to prove that cos square x plus cos square x plus pi by 3 plus cos square x minus pi by 3 is equal to 3 by 2. So we know that cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos of 2x by 2. So why are you using this? Because we want to get rid of cos square x. So we can write this whole thing as 1 plus cos of 2x by 2 plus 1 plus cos of 2x plus 2 pi by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus cos of 2x minus 2 pi by 3 by so what we got? We got this 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, we have got 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into cos of 2x plus cos of 2x plus 2 pi by 3 plus cos of 2x minus 2 pi by 3. This becomes 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into this cos 2x this is cos a plus cos b that is 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 so here we go 2 into cos of a plus b by 2 that is 2x plus 2 pi by 3 plus 2x minus 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 that is 2x plus 2 pi by 3 minus 2x plus 2 pi by 3. This is this is cancelled. This is this is cancelled. So what I get here is 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into cos of 2x plus 2 into cos of 2x into cos of this is by 2, 2 pi by 3. We know that cos of 2 pi by 3 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So we will replace this value. So what we get is 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into cos of 2x plus 2 into cos of 2x into minus 1 by 2. This cancel. This becomes minus cos. This is plus. This is 0. So this becomes 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 0 and that becomes 3 by 2 and we have proved LHS is equal to RHS. What we have done here, we have converted cos square x into 1 plus cos 2x and then we have solved the equation to get the answer. So we have to prove that cos of 2x into cos of x by 2 minus cos of 3x into cos of 9x by 2 is equal to sin 5x into sin 5x by 2. So here we see the similarity. Two plus 3 is equal to 5, 9 by 2 minus x by 2 is equal to 8x by 2 is equal to 4. So let's try to uh, first solve this cos a into cos b and this is also cos a into cos b. So cos a into cos b is nothing but 1 by 2 cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So we can write this as 1 by 2 into cos of 2x plus x by 2 this plus cos of 2x minus x by 2 this is the first part this is again minus again 1 by 2 again we will say cos of 3x plus 9x by 2 plus cos of 3x minus 9x by 2. This is what we can write. So what we get here is 1 by 2 will call it common. This becomes cos of 5x by 2 plus cos of 3x by 2 minus cos of 3 into 6 to 6 plus 9 15x by 2. This becomes plus 3 to 6 6 minus 3 minus 3 this is minus 
this becomes minus cos of 3x by 2. That's what we got. So this plus this minus is cancelled and what we got here is 1 by 2 into cos of 5x by 2 minus this cos of 5x by 2 minus cos of 15x by 2. So till this point is clear. Now cos A minus cos B is a request from cos that means either it will be sine into sine or cos into cos but since it is negative so it will be minus of sine of A plus B by 2 into sine of A minus B by 2. We know this formula. So this becomes 1 by 2 I will take here 2 into minus minus 2 into sine of a plus b by 2 that is 5x by 2 plus 15x by 2 into sine of a minus b by 2 that is 5x by 2 minus 15x by 2. So what you get is this is cancel that is minus of sine of 20x by 2 that is 10x into sine of this is 5 minus 10 that is minus 10 x by 2 that is minus 5 x sorry this is divided by 2 this whole thing is divided by 2 this comes 10 x by 2 this 5 x by 2 so sine of minus x equal to minus sine x so I can write this as minus into minus sine of 5x into sine of 5x by 2. This becomes plus. That is the answer. Sine of 5x into sine of 5x by 2. So what we have done? We have just converted cos a into cos b into cos a plus b plus cos a minus b by 2 and then we have converted cos a minus cos b into minus of sine a plus b by 2 into sine a minus b by 2. So what we have to do in general in such questions is we have to keep converting from cos to sine, sine to cos until and unless we get the answer. For example, in this case, we, we had cos into cos, we wanted to get it into sine. So we have converted this into cos plus cos and then we have got cos A minus cos B form. We knew that we can convert it into sine form and we got it into sine to get the answer. That's what you do. So here 10x is equal to 3 by 4 and x is between pi and 3 pi. We have to find the value of sine x by 2, cos x by 2 and 10x by 2. So we have we know this formula Pandit Badri Prashan Hari Hari Bol. So this is sine, this is cos, and this is tan. So that means P by B is equal to 3 by 4. So we can say P is equal to 3k, B is equal to 4k. So we have to find H. H is nothing but root of P square plus B square, that is root of 3k square plus 4k square that is root of 16 k square plus uh, sorry 9 k square plus 16 k square root of 25 k square is equal to plus minus 25 plus minus 5k so we will say h is equal to 5k now we have 10 x is equal to 3 by 4 and x is in uh, between pi and 3 pi or 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 is the wrong question 3 pi by 2 so x is in third quadrant all sine tan only tan will be positive sine and cos will be negative so we will have uh, here sine x is equal to p by h that is 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 cos of x is equal to b by h b by h b is equal to 4 4 by 5 minus 4 by 5 and tan x is equal to 3 by 4 given. So we have sin x, cos x and tan x. Now we have to find uh, sin x by 2. So we know that 2 sin square x by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos x is equal to now we will say is, uh, uh, is equal to 1 minus cos x is equal to minus 4 by 5 so it becomes 1 plus 4 by 5 so it becomes 9 by 5 so sine 
square x by 2 is equal to 9 by 10 correct sin square x by 2 is equal to 9 by 10 or sin x by 2 is equal to root of 9 by 10 is equal to 3 root 10 plus minus now since x by 2 uh, x is in third quadrant x by 2 will be in uh, second quadrant because if you take the values from 80, 180 to uh, 240 divided by 2 is equal to 120 to 90 to 120 this will be in the second quadrant so sine will be positive so we will take positive value plus 3 root 10 similarly for cos we have 2 cos square x by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos x so this becomes 1 minus 4 by 5 because cos is equal to minus 4 by 5 so this becomes 1 by 5 and cos square x by 2 becomes 1 by 10 or cos x by 2 is equal to root of 1 by 10 now since it is the second quadrant x by 2 so cos will be negative so this becomes minus root of 1 by 10 now similarly for tan x by 2 tan x by 2 is nothing but sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 so we have sin x by 2 is plus 3 by 10 and cos x by 2 is minus 1 by root 10 this is root so what you get is uh, this is 3 root 10 root 10 this is minus 3 and that's our answer so what we have done we have found sin x cos x and tan x and then we have used formula 2 sin square x by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos x and 2 cos square x by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos x to get sin x by 2 cos x by 2 and tan x by 2 that's it thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again